Today, we're gonna try to buy a car off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm telling you, this is something that I have been trying to do since we started this company, and there's a lot of scams on Marketplace that you need to be aware of. So like I just mentioned, uh, a lot of scams and a lot of problems on Facebook Marketplace. The car market is crazy, and literally, it's the first person that can get to a car as the first person that buys it. So if this happened at a car dealership and you were driving to get a car and the car dealership, while you're en route or you get there, they say, oh, sorry, we sold it. You would go out, write one-star reviews, bad mouth them on social media, stuff like that. Well, there's no recourse with a private sale on Facebook Marketplace and it's just accepted. It's kind of interesting for that to be. So we've attempted to buy cars I've actually drove uh, scrambled cash around because I don't keep cash on me uh, or in the house or anything like that. So we scrambled around for cash, we went to different ATMs uh, to get money out and stuff like that for this for this like fifteen hundred dollar car. And uh, we went to drive to get get it. As I'm pulling out of one of the ATMs, I curb my wife's wheel on the Tesla. Absolutely makes me mad. I was so pissed off that that happened. And then five minutes later, as we're just a mile or two away, they text me and like, it's sold. Like what? So I have learned since to make sure to ask the question, is anybody en route to buy this car right now? So this car that I'm going to buy, I asked that question. The guy said someone came at nine o'clock last night to look at it and they're gonna be back at 9 a.m. with the money to buy the car. So we'll see. Um, I still don't have any cash on me. So I'm hoping this guy is gonna let me do Cash App or Venmo. And I'm gonna be like, dude, you can Google me. I'm not gonna scam you. And then also, I don't want these people to know that I'm a dealer. Cause some of them are like, no, we don't wanna sell to dealers, stuff like that. It's really goofy. Uh, mentioning scams. So on Facebook Marketplace, there's a box to check that this is a clean title. Uh, that doesn't just mean liens. That means that it doesn't have a salvage rebuilt branded title. Well, everyone checks that you have to do your due diligence and look in the comments and ask that question because a lot of these cars on Facebook Marketplace in the Louisville, Kentucky area are rebuilt titles. So I'm gonna look at a car that I hope is not rebuilt. He wouldn't give me the VIN. He says he just didn't have it with him at the moment, which is a little sus. But so I'm gonna, you know, go there. First thing I do, I'm gonna scan the VIN with my app so that I can look up all the book values, I can pull Carfax on it and stuff like that. And we'll see if we can buy a car. And right here is where the car is. Right there is the vehicle. Unfortunately, six minutes ago, I told him that I was six minutes away. And then five minutes ago, he texted me and said that it just sold, but it's still there. That car looks super nice. That was gonna be a really nice car to buy. Uh, needed some windshield repair and uh, that we could fix up and sell, but uh, doesn't look like it is. I, I think I should go back and ask, offer more money. How about the new owners? Tell the new owners that I'll give them a profit for the vehicle. Hey, we guys sell this car for X amount of dollars. But today's not gonna be a wasted day because you guys know that the little store that we have in Georgetown, Indiana is not gonna be our forever home. Now, do we buy that and keep it small and, and have that as a branch off of Mike's car store? Absolutely, that's a plausible. Uh, but uh, while we are out here, oh my God, do you see that? Okay, hold on a second. While we are out here, um, we did pass this uh, little dealership's lot and this is actually for sale. So a lot of nice uh, room out here, uh, blacktop, which is super nice. A lot of room out there. I believe this might be like a metal building, like a Morton building system. I gotta look into that a little bit more. So we're in Charlestown, Indiana, and Amazon warehouse is right over here. And this is all industrial and been growing up the last few years. This Amazon warehouse has just been built and started working maybe less than five years ago. So this place is for sale. They want $700,000 for it, which is absolutely insane amount of money for this location. But it is something on our radar that we want to look at. But uh, let, me, let me show you what I see right here. This is insane. This is a 1995, apparently, uh, Chrysler Town & Country minivan. And you're probably wondering, Mike, uh, what, what, why'd you like 
pause in the middle of your video and say, oh my God, was it because in 1995 they had heated windshields on town and countries? Uh, was it the fact that it's got the paint peeling up there that looks like it's been spray painted, bottle can? Was it that it was next to a Nissan? I mean, no, it's, it's none of that. It's none of that. It's the fact that they took this van and they have converted it into a pickup truck Yes, look at this. They even have a turbo net on here. A pickup truck uh, van. Yeah, I, I like it. Town and country. Uh, they, they, oh my God, this is absolutely insane. So we got some plywood there. We got some spray foam there. They even have a window back here, which is probably off of a tonneau cover uh, of a uh, truck uh, topper, which is wild. So I wonder if I buy this thing. If all this stuff would come with it, are they going to take that out? But I mean, should I buy this thing? Should I call? Jeffrey's Auto and buy this thing and do something with it. Maybe I can sell it to uh, Whistling Diesel and he could have some fun with it as well. All right, back to the vlog. So uh, I just done, which kind of showed you this and this in the van. But the cool thing is I love having the American flag. I love it. It's really awesome that they have this American flag. And I'm telling you, if I ever get my franchise store or just get so big that I can afford it, uh, one of the things that I want to do is have the world's tallest flagpole. So if you Google that, uh, you can see how tall this flagpole's got to be to be the world's tallest. So I want to have a goal in mind that I have my dealership with the world's tallest flagpole on the property. And that flag up there looks pretty amazing. All right, so looking down here, Mrs. Chevy Dude said what? There's no room to clean cars, right? That's our issue now. So, but there is a lot of room right here that we can add on uh, or create another building. Uh, we got train tracks right there back there immediately so uh definitely a lot of room uh here and uh, i'm just not sure what type of building this is we'd have to look into it more uh it definitely looks like maybe a trailer an old trailer i don't know it's tough to see in there but it is really nice inside here so uh wood floor type vinyl plank i don't know what it is but it is really nice they got like a kitchen and stuff over there like a front desk right here so this is a really nice area uh just the issue comes in play is this uh a good area to run a car dealership or not so nowadays you don't have to be like in a prime location right i can literally get a warehouse be in an industrial park and sell cars with the internet but uh having uh, a road front like this is definitely a big key, but for $700,000 for this property, just like everything in 2022, it's so high dollars. All right, girls, let's get out of the truck. It's been a long drive, hasn't it? And sadly, we're back at the store and uh, without a car that we bought. So it is what it is. This was gonna be the infamous under $6,000 car. Hey, look, it's Sunday and it says we're open. We need to fix that. I don't know, I don't know what's up with that open sign. But uh, so now what we're going to do is I took another risk by buying this car at auction with this awesome wrap. I love this wrap. I said that I was gonna go out and keep it out there for 15 days. And if we don't sell it with 15 days, take the wrap off. We're actually at about 22 days now. And our business model for turning inventory is every 20. So. This wrap is going to come off. We're going to take it off and we'll pray to God that there is no underlaying paint issues of this car. That's been the biggest thing that people says is good luck. Take that wrap off. There's going to be hidden paint. I don't think there is hidden paint issues, but uh, we're going to take it off and we'll find out.